Guys, Ed Walters here. Welcome to my studio here down at Triffitt Golf Centre in Warrington. Today's video is a little bit based on a theme of how cricketers score and it's aimed at making you understand your position of the club face as you are hitting a golf ball at impact. So this drill is what I call a wagon wheel drill so let's go and take a look. Right guys so the concept of the wagon wheel drill if we think about watching cricket and any of you guys who do play cricket or if you've watched cricket on the TV the wagon wheel is a, a graphic that is shown to show the direction and the areas and where a batsman scores their runs. So if you think we've got a circle and then so the batsman would be located generally from this top end here um, and then what you'll find is the, the ball, the lines will go out in directions all around this circular image that they would show. Now. If we think about that in a golf context, we would like the golf ball to go to our target. So generally we're going to aim our face at the target, but a lot of us don't hit the ball to target. We hit the ball to the right and we hit the ball to the left. The club face is in the main directly responsible for the reason it goes to the left or to the right. The ball will always start closer to the direction the club face points in at impact. So if we can build the awareness of intentionally hitting the golf ball to the right with the club face to the right or to the left with the face to the left and then to target and we start to get our feelings about that it can make life much easier for you guys to be able to hit the golf ball to your target especially when you see danger on the golf course on the driving range doing this drill is great because you see the ball flights but then you've got to be able to have the awareness to when you go and play golf to hit the golf ball straight so we need to know what the club face feels like to be to the right feels like to be to the left when we are making swings so I'm just going to hit a couple of shots here and I'm going to get that feeling I'm going to start with the first one is I'm going to try and get this golf ball to go to the left now, there are many ways in feeling the direction of the face go to the left, you know, to sort of, you can get the feeling that your knuckles were turned down towards the ground, or the face of your watch was turned down towards the ground, or they were turned up towards the sky, and then that would have the club face out to the right, having them facing towards your target would have the face more towards target, so it's ideas like that which you want to be using when you're making swings during this drill. So, first one, I'm gonna feel knuckles to the ground, which is then gonna turn my face to the left. So, here we go. And that one starts left, and it's moving a little bit further as well with a little draw on it. So, mission accomplished with shot number one. Shot number two is I'm going to feel knuckles go more towards the sky. So the ball should start more to the right and it may well curve, it may well just go straight to the right. But the idea is I want to feel more of that as I go through impact. And there, start to the right and it's curving a little bit that way as well. So now I want to get the feeling of hitting the golf ball straight. So the feeling that if my knuckles are pointing more towards the target, then my club face is also going to be thereabouts as I go through impact. And there, start at the target, tiny little bit of draw, which is my natural shape. But that's exactly what I want to get, that's what I want to feel. So the more I practice this drill, the better and better my awareness becomes of where this is. So if I really want to hit the ball from left to right, I know how the face needs to feel and what I need to feel to make that happen. If I need to make it move from right to left, I know what that feeling needs to be like to make that happen. So practicing this drill gives you the ability to intentionally find out what it's like to hit the balls in the areas you don't want it to go to, but then also builds the awareness of how you need the face to feel, how you need to feel to hit the ball to target. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know your comments on the, the aspect of, of this drill. If it's something that you struggle with, your awareness of where the club face is as you go through impact, and can you then intentionally make the ball 
go to the right, go to the left, and then go straight. Also, let me know how you get on practicing as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts as always. Please post as many comments in the box below and I will get back to you all as soon as possible. As always, if you like the video, please give it the thumbs up as well. Click that little thumb down there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.